In our final presentation, let's watch a video of our company founder and chairman Han Gil Park together. Ten years ago, when I first founded this company, I gathered 17 people, and I told them that I would give them $1 million in cash. And 10 years have passed since I said that. For those 10 years, I had continually promised them the same thing. What do you think has happened after 10 years? That is why you need to continue to tell others your dreams. What do you need to tell those around you then? If you promise people that you will give them $1 million in cash, then that will indeed become a reality. Listen to me, everyone. Your words need to precede your actions. There's an old Korean saying, don't let your words precede your actions. There's actually a lot of Korean sayings that just aren't true. Your heart must be the same when you go to the bathroom and come out. That's actually a strange person. You must be in a rush to go to the bathroom. But once you're done, you should be relaxed, right? If you're in a rush in both situations, there's something wrong. Go see a doctor. A person must have a different state of mind in both situations. A person's words must precede their actions. Let your words precede your actions, then you must make it a reality. Do you know where I learned this? I learned it from the Bible. What did God first do when He created the world? He used His words first. He created the world using His words. That is why you need to create your success with your words as well. You need to tell others, I will make $50,000 a month. I will make $100,000 a month. You need to tell this to people around you for five to 10 years. When your words become flesh, that is when you can truly be successful. Actually, smart people will say, is that even possible in this world? How can someone like me make $50,000 a month? Do you think $50,000 is a joke? Enough with this nonsense. To that person, it probably doesn't make sense. But those who go around saying that they will make $50,000 a month are those who come out of nowhere. There are actually people sitting over there who have succeeded that don't seem to fit the mold. This is wisdom that is taught in the Bible. That is why you need to tell others that you will indeed become a successful person. In order to know what to tell others, you first need to write down your words. This is the life scenario. You need to write down what kind of person you will become when you are successful. You must then make this into a movie in your mind. When you try to talk to others, you actually can't think of what to say. When someone asks, what kind of person will you be when you're successful, most people just stutter. You need to be specific about how you will be successful. You need to write down how much income you want every month. Write down how much cash you want to save up in 10 years. Also, write down your dream car, what kind of house it is that you want to live in. You need to be specific how the people that you eat with will become successful. Be specific about how much you want to help everyone else per month. Then, you must imagine the life that you want to live inside of your mind very vividly. And you must tell this to other people. Some might listen to you and others might ignore you. But that doesn't really matter. The important thing is that you listen to yourself. It is important that you listen to yourself for five to 10 years. One day, my friend said this to me. The atomy business is so difficult. So I said, don't say such things. It's only difficult because you say it is. Do you know what my friend said in response? I don't say this to other people. I just tell you this because you're my friend. So I said, even when you're telling me, there are still two people listening. 
You and I are here listening to what you're saying. He probably told himself he could not make it before telling me. I can't make it. It's too difficult. Do you know who heard all of that? He heard it himself. That's why it was even more difficult. All of you need to tell yourself that you can do it. Tell yourself, I can do it. You need to convince yourself first before other people. Convincing yourself first is the most important thing. The laws of success are very simple. What kind of life will I have when I've succeeded? You need to draw this mental image in your mind. In order to draw this in your mind, you first need to write it down. Even if you did this last month, you need to do it again this month. You need to rewrite this every month. It's better if you can write this every day. If you can't, you should write it every month when you come here. As you write down the life you want every month, your life will slowly begin to change. Let's say your dream house was a 165 square meter house. But let's say your dream house changed to a standalone house. Then should you rewrite your life scenario? Of course. Why? That is because your dream house has changed in your mind and that is the only way to keep your engine going. Let's say your dream car was a Mercedes. But one day you see a Porsche and you change your mind. Wow. That Porsche is a thing of beauty and you can't even sleep. Then you need to change your mind about your car. It doesn't cost anything to change your dream car. It doesn't cost you a cent. All you have to do is change it in your mind. No one's going to require you to pay taxes on it. That's why this is very easy. You need to continue to update your dreams. Write down the true life that you want. The life that will drive you mad if you could just make it into a reality. Write down your life scenario. Don't be humble when you're writing down your dreams. Do you know what happens when you're humble? You'll give up because it just won't be worth it. You'll give up on all your dreams. The things that you need to write down in your life scenario are things that will drive you mad if only they can become a reality. Even if I die doing this, I'll die happy. Write down in your life scenario the things that you can vouch your whole life for. The dreams that you have inside your head. If you're normal, then you will have these dreams. For example, let's say there's a 50-year-old lady. She wants to enter the Korea Military Academy. She wants to become a cadet and then ultimately an officer and she keeps imagining this inside her head. Do you think this will come true? Does the Korean military accept people who are in their 50s? No way. That is 100% impossible. What about the dream of making $50,000 a month? It's not 100% guaranteed. But at the same time, it is not 100% impossible. Am I right? You need to challenge yourself in areas that have a low success rate. If you challenge yourself in areas that have a 100% success rate, well, that's quite meaningless. Don't engage yourself in things that have a 100% success rate. For example, you want to climb a hill behind your house. Can everyone in here achieve this feat? Yes, of course. Is that worth challenging then? No, it's not that great of a challenge. For example, Let's say you sell fish on the street with a sign. Can anyone do this? Yes, anyone can do this, 100%. You just have to avoid the cops. If you want, you can do this 100%. Even if you succeed at these things that can be done by anyone, it's the same as having failed. What then do you need to do in order to succeed? Even if it does not have a 100% success rate, you need to challenge yourself in things that will truly make you successful. Making $50,000 to $100,000 a month does not have a 100% success rate. But there is still the possibility, right? Have you seen people before you succeed in Atomy? Yes, there are plenty. Today we have millions of Atomy members, right? But before, there were not very many people who had succeeded. 
From only a handful of people today, we have so many successful people. Just imagine how many Imperial Masters we will have in the next 10 years. When we have up to 6 million Atome members today, But there are some people who say that they can't make it. Shouldn't you take on the challenge and say that you can do it? You need to believe that you can make it. You need to challenge yourself in areas that have a low success rate. And in order to do this, you need courage. Most people are afraid of failure, so they can't tell others. They're not able to confidently declare it to others. But those that declare their dreams will be successful. When there were 17 members in the beginning, I declared in front of them that Atomy would be a global company. I told them they could make fifty to $100,000 a month. I knew back then that the probability of success was less than 1%. That is a 99% rate of failure. How could I have said such things in front of those 17 people? I had nothing back then. I told them we would be a global company. I told them they could make $50,000 a month. I told them I would give them a Mercedes. I was driving a $2,800 secondhand car at the time. Some smart people left when they heard me. <clears throat> you do it yourself. $50,000? What a joke. Smart people responded in such a way. Those people had good discernment. But those that were not so smart, like Imperial Master Jung Soo Park and Crown Master Kyu Jung Chui, didn't leave, and they stayed put. Ten of those 17 people have now become successful. Not that smart. Yeah. Those who were smart at the time all said this was nonsense and they left. I don't know what happened to those people. The people that questioned my vision and left that place. To be honest, I was scared to say such things as well. It's a scary thing, right? The success rate was less than 1%. The rate of failure was 99%. But I faced my fears and declared my vision. That is when you need courage. Courage is not being numb to fear. Courage is facing your fears. Courage is declaring, I will make $50,000 to $100,000 a month. It's to encourage others. Let's do it together. Even if you say such things, you still know that you might fail. Of course you know that. You must overcome those fears and keep declaring your dreams. If you're scared, you just have to go hide somewhere and shake. What will happen to me if I fail? But in front of other people, you have to shout in confidence again. Hey, friend, imagine the day when I make $100,000. Won't you be embarrassed when you get by with $5,000 or $7,000 a month that your husband brings home? Maybe your friend's husband is making $7,000 a month and you're only making $10,000 as a part-time job. You still have to tell your friend, what about your life after retirement? Your friend might say, just worry about your own self. No, I'll be making $50,000 a month. I'm worried about you. This is what courage looks like. Listen, everyone. You need to face your fears. It is not knowledge, nor your credentials, that will ensure your success. Everyone knows by now that I had bad grades in school. I failed a grade and had to repeat a grade with my juniors. Yeah. I barely graduated university by taking classes at night. I actually did my master's and PhD in my 60s. But I was persistent, so I kept on studying. I went to school these past five years persistently. Those who were good in school probably got their degrees in their 30s. 
Right now, I am still writing my thesis. I just received my diploma. I was bad at studying. My classmates all received their PhDs because they finished their thesis, but I'm still writing my thesis right now. But I am still persistent. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not very smart. I'm not smart, but if I set a goal, I am persistent to achieve that goal. I have gained success because of this courage. I encourage all of you to stop being afraid. Don't live your life as a coward, especially in front of others. I ask you to stop living merely as a commoner. A commoner. Some people say, I love being a commoner. I've lived as a commoner before as well. There's nothing good about it. Get rich. Be a kind, rich person and share with others. Do you think only commoners are nice people? There are many rich people who are also nice. If you can't find rich and kind people, then you just become one yourself. When you set a goal for your life, you need to have a high bar for yourself. If you want to succeed, you need to have faith. It says in the Bible that faith is having hope in the unseen. Faith is not believing in what can be seen. What if I tell you, believe that this is a real mic? That's ridiculous, right? What are you talking about? Of course it's a real mic. Faith is to believe in the things that are unseen. You all need faith. What then do you put your faith on? You need to first write your life scenario. You need to draw in your minds the life that you want to live when you've become successful. Is this dream of yours visible to others? It is unseen. But you need to be able to see your own dreams. You must bring your future into the present. And you must use it as an engine for your present life. Even if your car right now is a worthless piece of junk, you must dream to drive a Mercedes. You must imagine yourself sitting in the back seat as your friend or husband is your driver. You need to imagine this in your mind. Be specific with how much you want to help others out. Maybe it's thousands of dollars. Maybe you want your house to be 330 square meters. You will need a house that big to invite your loved ones and throw a party with them. And maybe you want to tell others about the Atme business as well. By now, you should have in your mind the type of house, car, and lifestyle that you want. You need to draw this in your mind. You need to imagine the things that will make you so happy that they will drive you mad. You need to make such dreams into your reality. You must take the future and bring it to the present so that you can use it as the engine of your life. The reason why you're so weak is because you have no vision. It's because you have no hope. It's true that there are people who can motivate themselves to have hope. Such people are called hopeful. You say such people are optimistic, but if you are naturally not an optimistic person, and even if you have no hope, if you can draw this vision inside your mind forcefully, then you can use this vision as an engine for your life. You will become a powerful person. Members uh, who were with me since the very beginning of Atomy said that they did not know I was so poor. They thought at least I had some wealth. They said they didn't know I was so poor. The supplier for our products also said that they would not have supplied us with the products if they had known how poor I actually was. But I was not that kind of person. That is why a person's words must precede their actions. What did I just say? 
A person's words must precede their actions. You must declare your dreams to those around you. You must shout your dreams to them. Even if they don't believe you, you still must tell them. Take courage. You must declare to those around you the successful life which you have always wanted. Let your words become flesh. If you let others know of the successful life you've always wanted, you will become successful. I hope you will believe in this. That is the end of my lecture. Thank you for listening. Please tune in for our next Atomy Oceania online one day seminar. Until then, bye bye.